You see, 90 Day Fiancé is known for sparking some successful marriages, however there are featured couples who have gone through particularly nasty divorces. There have been dozens of divorces between 90 Day Fiancé stars and some have gone down in history because they were particularly nasty. Since 2014 the popular TLC franchise has expanded with several spin-offs and fans can't get enough of watching internationally based couples trying to make their relationships work. Unfortunately, the duos usually have a lot of problems to sort out. Whether the pairs can get past cultural differences or are simply incompatible, 90 Day Fiancé does not shy away from showcasing the dramatics and heartache that these relationships can bring. While there have been some 90 Day Fiancé couples who continue to stand the test of time, most of the featured duos ultimately end up separating after filming. Although the general divorce rate is already high at about 50%, 90 Day Fiancé's percentage is arguably even more elevated. Of course, some duos can separate and divorce on good terms, but more often than not, divorces across the franchise get contentious quickly. Several 90 Day Fiancé divorces are remembered for being particularly sour, dramatic or nasty. From threatening their partners with deportation to accusing their other halves of abuse or theft, some 90 Day Fiancé cast members are better off single. Here are three divorces viewers and social media users have hailed as nastier than all the rest. Number 3. Chantal Everett and Pedro Jimeno Chantal and Pedro, who were first introduced to TLC viewers on 90 Day Fiancé Season 4, are one of the franchise's most recent separations. There was a lot of chatter about Pedro filing for divorce in May 2022. Chantal and Pedro met in Pedro's native Dominican Republic, and although their families didn't exactly get along, and this is an understatement, the pair married in 2016. Their spin-off show, The Family Chantal, began airing in 2019. It further followed the couple, their drama with their families and their cultural differences. Pedro had threatened divorce several times before filing papers, and the actual decision to file reportedly surprised Chantal. That allegation threw viewers for a loop when Pedro accused Chantel of stealing almost $300,000 from their account. Since then, Chantel and Pedro have aimed passive-aggressive digs at each other on social media. Number 2. Anfisa Arhipchenka and Jorge Nava Jorge and Russian-born Anfisa, who recently became an American citizen, had a very bumpy relationship when they starred on 90 Day Fiancé Season 4. They later appeared on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Seasons 2 and 3. Anfisa wasn't shy about her attraction to Jorge's money, while Jorge was filmed going behind Anfisa's back on several occasions, including seeing a divorce lawyer without her knowledge. Jorge and Anfisa were married in August 2017 and Jorge was arrested for marijuana possession just a few months later, in February 2018. While Jorge and Anfisa's divorce wasn't finalized until 2020, their relationship was full of explosive fights and screaming matches. At different times they accused each other of being abusive. However, since their divorce, Jorge and Anfisa have both moved on with their lives. Jorge started a family, and Anfisa enjoys success as a model and social media influencer. Number 1. Larissa Dos Santos Lima and Colt Johnson Larissa and Colt, who starred on 90 Day Fiancé Season 6 before appearing unhappily ever after Seasons 4 and 5, had one of the most contentious relationships across the franchise. Colt and the Brazilian Larissa met on a dating website and spent less than two weeks together before getting engaged. Larissa and Colt married in June 2018, but their union lasted only a few short months. Their divorce was finalized in April 2019. Between fans slamming Colt for his troubling behavior and Larissa being arrested multiple times for alleged domestic violence, 90 Day Fiancé viewers considered this explosive couple more than just a bad match. Larissa was eventually fired from the 90 Day Fiancé franchise due to her racy online content, and Colt made several attempts to have her deported. While dozens of unfriendly divorces have resulted from the main 90 Day Fiancé series, Larissa and Colts remain one of the most memorably nasty. That's it for now, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to stay tuned.